This video is going to be about computer systems, what actually makes a computer system, the different types of computer system, embedded systems, and all of the components related to a computer. A computer takes data, processes it, and then outputs it. This means that a machine is often more efficient than a human. As you can see on the diagram here, data is input, processed, and then output. A computer system consists of hardware and software. Hardware being the devices, the physical items that you can touch. Software being programs or applications that run on the hardware. A computer system processes data and completes tasks. There are a number of different types of computer system. For example, some of the more modern ones, like a supercomputer, are used in banks and scientific labs. These will be big, powerful computer systems with a number of processors able to work on things together. We have small devices, which are like calculators and watches. Some of the more familiar ones to you will be general purpose computers like PCs, tablets and mobile phones. There are also dedicated systems such as traffic lights and the things used for air traffic control inside an airplane and in the towers. An embedded system is a computer system which is built into a device. They're used as control systems to monitor and control machinery. The best examples of this would be like a dishwasher, a microwave and a TV. They're all built into the device and they only really control what is in the device. It can't take in extra data and process it. The most important thing about the embedded systems is that they're usually dedicated to one particular task, which makes them easier to design in the first place, cheaper to produce, and more efficient. A personal computer, which is what you use in school and offices, they are made up of a load of different components. Now the components that you need to know for the purpose of this course are the power supply, the cooling fan, the CPU and the heatsink. RAM, graphics card, hard disk drive, optical drives and a motherboard. We'll take a look at those on the next bit. If you take a moment to look at all of the different components in these pictures shown here, it'll help you to kind of understand what is inside the computer system and what you use to actually make it function properly. Obviously there's some input and output devices shown here as well, like a keyboard and a mouse, a monitor, speakers and so on but all of the internal components are shown as well. So you need to know the components and what the actual purpose of each component is. So for example, the power supply supplies power to all of the components inside the computer. There's a case cooling fan, which is kind of inside the plastic part of your computer where all the components are kept. And this basically takes all the hot air from the computer and pushes it out to stop it overheating basically. You have a CPU heatsink and a cooling fan specifically for the CPU. So this stops like the main brain of the computer from getting too hot. You have the actual CPU which does all of the processing of data and instructions inside the computer. You've got your graphics card which is what allows you to actually see what's happening on the computer at that time. The motherboard is the main circuit board, which is what everything kind of gets plugged into. You've got hard disk drive, which is internal secondary memory storage, which is where all of your files and programs and applications are stored. You've also got RAM memory, which is where all of your currently running programs are kept. And then you might have an optical drive, which is a little bit less common now, but it's what's used to read all of DVD, CD and Blu-ray discs. Thank you so much for watching this video, hope you found it helpful, please press like and subscribe, thank you.